Now a senior scientist and head of HIV research at the MRC West Africa Collaboration and Research Network has told the Gambia Street Commission that ex-president Yaya Jamis Ex President Yaya Jamis' proclamation of HIV and of having the ability to cure HIV and AIDS is just a political rhetoric, detailed in this report by Julian Yaiswari. Dr. Hassan J's appearance is meant to give first hand information about his work on HIV AIDS in the Gambia and how HIV AIDS treatment was approached and dealt with by the MRC in collaboration with the Gambia government. Testifying before commissioners on Wednesday, Dr. J said the president's proclamation took him aback because he never thought that Jame would go to the extent of practicing it. It was a, a surprise to us, and, uh, but at the same time, a worry. And we thought at that point it's just a political rhetoric and would stop at that because he was known to make proclamations every time. By, by saying, okay, please, please proceed, please proceed. Yeah, he, he was known to make proclamations politically any time, and we thought at that point in time, this was just one of those uh, political rhetorics. Uh, until when we were informed that he's on the verge of organizing a treatment uh, clinic. That was when our worries became profound. Dr. Gay said he is of the belief that former President Jame made the proclamation because he wanted to fulfill his self-esteem when he assumed power because he was once quoted as saying that he wanted to be a doctor but ended up being a soldier. The scientists added that Jame proclaiming a cure for the people who are sick was meant to exploit the vulnerability of those people by virtue of his position as president. He also told the Truth Seeking Commission that it becomes really strange and highly unexpected for one to declare a cure for the virus because it is impossible to cure going by its course. Cure is not possible in HIV. And and why, why is that? Why is that? The HIV virus, its genome, I think I alluded to this, its genome is called, it's a, it's a rare genome of an RNA that is half two double stranded. And normally RNAs are single, but this one has a positive strand alongside it that enables it to integrate into the host DNA itself. And that's how HIV become su successful. But not only that, that RNA it has, it's accompanied with proteins, enzyme proteins, that will enable it to employ a mechanism to integrate into the host cells itself. And at the cell itself, it's at the DNA of the cells itself, the way it integrates and become part of that DNA to start multiplying. So if you treat, want to treat, and the cure means eliminating the virus. That's what cure is. If you want to cure, you have to get to that virus where it's hiding, but you cannot touch that virus without touching the DNA, uh, the cells of the person. So you destroy the cells of the person. That means you kill the person itself. Narrating the impact of the president's proclamation on them. The immunology specialist said Jame's treatment program led to the destruction of their own program because most members of the cohort decided to move to the presidential treatment. So there was a decision that we have to close the cohort. It became apparent when many of our members of the cohort came to indicate that they are now moving in program to the presidential treatment program. We cannot stop them because it's their choice. What they have to do is to create a discharge form where they will have to sign that they are now leaving the cohort and move over. He said as of 2005, 90% of the patients in his programs were able to attain low viral load, 
However, most of the conditions of the patients worsened and others died when they moved to the presidential treatment. The lead HIV and AIDS researcher at MRC said some of the patients had to come back to MRC because they realized that the president's treatment was bogus. For iAfrica News, I am Julden Yai